Has anybody solved the mystery of NXT yet? What is going? Are they being held hostage? Is there is there a ransom note been given? Who's gonna Who's gonna come out with custody of NXT? Do you think? We'll see what happens. I mean, the problem is if the kidnapper constantly forgets that he's there kidnapping you, what do you do? Well, yeah, wait. Now, wait a minute. The 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 main kidnapper has help. That's Apparently, right. That's right. What if a kidnapper has a stooge? You never think of that. See, I think that the biggest attraction probably in a year that they can put out on pay-per-view or on a big show or on the cock or whatever the case may be is Vince McMahon, Bruce Pritchard, Johnny Ace, and Kevin Dunn against Triple H, Shawn Michaels. Who are we going to get to, to, to bolster the NXT side there? They seem to be outnumbered. How much you want to bet Shawn would turn on Hunter? Well, if, I, if the money was right. Su- uh, if, yeah. the, if the money was right, if the, the breeze was right. Super kick, <laughs> and he's over there by Vince and Bruce. So who is this? Now, where does Stephanie stand in all this? What's, what's her job these days? If, if, if Bruce is supposed to be overseeing creative and Johnny Ace is the talent relations guy and Vince is the major domo of the land of fruits and nuts, he's the head cashew. Um, where do, where does Stephanie fit in these days? Is she going to, is she going to pick triple H or in the uh, divorce proceedings, or is she going to pick her dad when, when, when they, when they decide, when they divorce WWE from NXT and decide who gets custody of the wrestlers. Whose side is she going to be on? She'll be exactly where she is. Chief brand officer going out and meeting with a bunch of people who know nothing about wrestling and giving them a fluff speech about the wonderful world of wrestling and the wonderful things her family has done. And of course, her childhood friend, Andre the Giant. She used to do uh, tap dances on his palm, from what I understand. I don't know what she was tapping on, but yeah, I think she'll be fine. Triple H, though, this poor guy. I'm starting to feel bad for him for the first time in my life. This poor, <laughs> poor Paul Levesque. This poor beleaguered individual. Here's something you've never heard before. I can't believe Paul Levesque got outplayed. I can't believe politically Paul Levesque is where he is right now. And, you know, I've, I must admit, I always do this whenever I'm wrong or mistaken in any way. I publicly admit it. How long time ago i said well you can't fire the son-in-law apparently you can what does it say not only what does it say about the future of nxt that vince mcmahon bruce pritchard and and johnny ace and to any lesser extent kevin dunn are going to be in charge of the product it'll look like i mean tl hopper may finally get the run he's been waiting for what does it say of the uh, for the product of NXT? But what does it say for the the job that tr- that Vince McMahon is acknowledging that Triple H has done or hasn't done with NXT? It's it's been the most watchable program. It's if you if you were going to see a good match, chances are you were going to see it on NXT. If you were going to see a good match with big stars, chances are you're going to see it on well whatever. Roman Reigns has been on SmackDown before that Raw. But if you were going to see a good match just involving wrestlers, NXT was it. So we're going to lose that now. We're in, and we're going to talk about last week's NXT. It may be dr- sinking from our grasp as we speak, but uh, <clears throat> what's it going to look like? Is he going to have greener talent doing more WWF style horse shit instead of Maybe an actual wrestling match breaking out every once in a while? Is that what NXT is going to become? That's what I'm wondering about. Less about the talent that'll be used and more about the WWE brand of horseshit, the Vince McMahon style of comedy. That's what I'd be more afraid of. (sighs) If if Vince McMahon is the one approving the NXT scripts, what do you think he's going to approve? And no, let me change that. If Bruce is (laughs) approving the NXT scripts... What do you think he's going to, in his head, think Vince is going to want him to do? The goon. T.L. Hop, Freddie Joe Floyd. <sighs> I watched a few minutes of NXT. I'm not going to jump in during your review because I didn't see enough of it to say anything. I just, after seeing that new logo, had to see how colorful and how full of life NXT. I figured it was going to be just a psychedelic explosion of color. And it was the same dark, dull shit it is every week. So 
I'm dying to see this revamp and what it's going to be. Why release a logo if you're not ready to use it, though? Because I didn't see that logo on the show. I saw the old logo. Because I'm telling you, because Vince and the people that work in the company not related to the wrestling end are constantly convinced that, oh, my God, a new logo. This is going to catch people's attention and make them talk. They think that. They think that the people that watch the wrestling program care about the logos and the and the bullshit that they all care about. And so they sometimes that is pushed to the for, forefront more than, hey, we're actually going to have a good show with some good talent. And sometimes it's pushed to the forefront to cover up for the fact that, hey, we're not going to really have a very good show with very good talent. But... Uh, and I mean, from my experience with Bruce and Johnny Ace together, anywhere around developmental will be, and I'm not even trying to, I have knock Johnny all day long. I'm not even trying to knock Bruce when I say this, but he just, he thinks like old fashioned WWF, which was not that good to begin with, but at least it had names from the territories to perpetrate it. And they halfway knew what they were doing and how to get something over. Now, You've got, if you apply the same thing to people who have never been in the territories, never been involved with wrestling and have learned from the ground up, it's just going to be a goddamn bunch of fucking gimmicks. Just a bunch of gimmicks. Because that's what Vince wants and that's when Bruce thinks it makes them interesting. And he does not. People say that I'm out of touch. I didn't actually hear that the last time that I... The last two times that I followed him into a company producing some of the younger talent, <laughs> I wasn't the one that they were rolling their eyes about, talking about what he thought they should do. I was the one they were saying, oh, thank you. Tell me more about that. So we'll see what happens, what is, as, what is as you often say. But what? I, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, what does that tell you? People could put two and two together and figure it out, but... You heard things from your perspective, and I obviously have different ways of hearing things in different people. I heard things. Nothing but horrible reviews from Bruce Pritchard behind the scenes in a couple of different places where he worked with talent who may not have wanted to work with him very long. That reputation, and then he goes back and look at what he's doing now. This is why morale is at an all-time low. This kind of shit right here. 